Hey everybody, Floyd here. Welcome back to the asylum. Today we're just going to do a quick little short video. It's a lot nicer today. I got the weather later this week is supposed to be in the 70s. Last time I was filming, the weather was 17 degrees Fahrenheit. I picked up a pair of these little cheap bar end mirrors and I'm just going to stick them in the end of the handlebars like so. And I figured I'd let you watch me do it. So to start with, so because it turns out these handle normally I would just poke a hole in the end of the rubber grips and slide the mirrors in, but these handlebars actually have caps in the ends of them. They have plastic caps in the ends of them. So what I'm gonna have to do here is pull the grips out. Well, now that the air compressor has stopped burning, I can show you a couple other things. Around here on the throttle end, you'll notice that the throttle sleeve also covers up part of the end of the handlebar, so I'll have to pull that off in order to install these mirrors as well. So let's get that off of here. I already know from experience it won't slide all the way off the end. So I'm actually going to have to disconnect the bottle cable. But that'll only take a minute. There we go. Next, we have these two plastic caps right here that have to come out. A lot of times these caps aren't present in the handlebars. So if they're if they're not, then it's not a problem. When the caps aren't in the handlebars, you can cut your hole in the end of the grips and put them in. Now, on this one, because of the way the sleeve is made, these won't fit in there either. So I'm going to take a step drill bit and just drill out the end of the throttle sleeve a little bit. And that gives me a nice neat hole that the ferrule can go in through. Then while I'm at it, I'll also take my step grip and 
and drill out the end of the handlebar grip. Now it's kind of tricky drilling rubber, you have to be careful. And if these were normal mirrors, it depends on how they fit, if they fit up flush or not. So these will fit to here, and then this part right here is sticking out. So you don't have to have the entire end of the grip cut out in order to make them work. But you do have to cut enough of it back in order to get them to go through. So go very slowly. I just want to apply to every set of mirrors, but to the set that I chose, I'll have to loosen these up here and take the mirror head off. But first, let's put the throttle sleeve back on and get this back together. One good thing about changing to the Mucuni VM carburetor, there's only one throttle cable to deal with. So that makes it pretty easy. Okay, so now we have the end of the handlebars cleaned out. I've got to clean off the handlebars a little bit. Then I'm, a lot of people use grip glue, and I have used grip glue, but for the most part, I just use hairspray nowadays. I use it for my 3D printer, and it works just fine most of the time for holding grips on a motorcycle as well, too. So I'm going to pause this for a second and clean these handlebars off and get the glue, and we'll get right back to it. Okay, everybody, I'm back. Back in the 80s, this is Aquanet. This are White Rain. Man, the girls put some great big hair going with this stuff. And it would hold. It would stay in place. It works good enough for motorcycle grips, too. Spray a little on. Spray a lot on. It won't hurt. Grab your grip and just slide it back into place. Now right now it'll move a little bit, but once it's dry, it'll be good for them. Let's do the same thing over here on the swallow sleeve. And make sure we don't get all over everything else. Got that in place. Bottles in place. I will take this. And wiggle it in there. Make sure it's seated all the way down. Hmm. I might have to trim this out a little bit on this side because of the bottle. After all, we got 
don't want to involve a tech cruise control now, do we? Got that trim back enough where it's not catching. All right, that's in there pretty solidly. Do the same thing on the other side. On this side, you don't have to worry about whether or not the grip is able to turn. Matter of fact, you don't. You want it not to. I'm pressing firmly inward. On the mount. You got to get these things pulled down really tight or they'll vibrate loose, especially on a bike like this. See, at this point, it just looks like I've installed a set of bar ends. I'm going to install them turned up. I have tried these this type of mirror before, and you can see a tiny bit better. They're not really not much good for anything. When I said it's an 80 style custom, I even when I was looking for these mirrors, I even looked up pig spotters on the internet and couldn't really find any listing for them. But that's what we called them because they were just barely enough a mirror for you to see the blue lights behind you. Well, they're a little bit better than that. You can't see what's behind you, but this is mainly a looks thing. Sort of a barely legal looks thing. I don't need to be tightened up a hair more. And there you have it. We've got these mirrors installed. And I'll do my final adjustment on them. 
And it's supposed to reach 70 degrees Fahrenheit here for the next four or five days in a row, even though it's January. I certainly hope so, because I've got a plate on this thing, an insurance, and I'm ready to ride. So that's it for this episode. That's all I'm doing on film for this time being. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got something out of it. If you want to see where else I go, what else I do with this bike, and some of the others here in the shop, please like and subscribe. And until then, happy wrenching and stay crazy.